Dear friends, I'm so sorry that I cannot be with you tonight for the eighth annual Wash Gala, particularly as you've chosen to honor me. I am truly humbled by this award. I have been involved in the quest for sustainable development in all my professional life, and I was privileged to be at the heart of the process that helped define the 2030 Agenda agreed by governments in 2015. I was honored to be asked to help spearhead the Agenda's implementation as Environment Minister in Nigeria. And now I have the enormous responsibility of promoting global sustainable development as the United Nations Sec Deputy Secretary General. But my greatest responsibility still is being a mother. I have four girls and two boys, and I'm about to be a grandmother, and I want them and their children to grow up in a world where they and all their generation can thrive. Around the world, millions of parents today are grieving because they have lost children, needlessly, because of unclean water and inadequate sanitation. I say needlessly because these problems are easily solved with investment and political will. Those most in need are the poor and the marginalized. And that is why we must work now for an equitable world where no one is left behind and those most in need are helped first. That's the purpose of the 17 interlinked and interdependent sustainable development goals. Goal number six aims for clean water and sanitation for all, and its success will impact many of the other goals too, such as quality education, health and well-being, and reduced inequality. The deadline for the goals is 2030. That is not much time, but it is enough time if we work hard and we work together and we work with long-term objectives in mind. I'd like to commend Face Africa for its work to bring clean water, sanitation, and hygiene programs to remote communities in sub-Saharan Africa. You and the organizations like yours are indispensable partners in our common quest for a world of peace, prosperity, and dignity for all on a healthy planet. I thank you once again for honoring me, and I pledge that I will do everything that I can for the future we want for the people of Africa and around the world. I thank you.